<laughs> I, I, excuse me, I, I, I gotta go. Hi. Here at the Driver Rehabilitation Center, we strive to make the worst motorists in the entire country safe. And to do that, we have to break a few bad habits. So right now, I'd like to set the record straight. Driving while distracted is dangerous driving. Turn left onto Victoria Avenue. The most dangerous motorists in the country all drive distracted. But we're professionals, and we will make them change by throwing every single thing we have at them. This is... Ca this is Canada's worst driver. Calgarian Aaron was made a candidate for Canada's worst driver by his father, Lee. I can't drive. Aaron has to drive to get himself to his doctor's appointments. You see, Aaron is a bad driver because of a physical handicap. I thought you were turning. Oh. Six years ago, Aaron was waiting at a stop sign. And a lady dropped her cigarette and forgot to stop at a stop sign. That lady plowed into Aaron, going just 30 kilometers an hour. Half a block down is when she dropped her cigarette and then right. started to look for her cigarette and that. And she lost control, came across, hit your car and pushed it all up under the lawn up here. Don't remember, eh? Aaron spent two months in a coma, and amazingly, Aaron never lost his driver's license. Now, he wants to be rehabilitated as a driver before he hurt someone. That's a stop sign there. <laughs> This year, every single one of the Canada's Worst Driver nominees openly admits to driving while distracted. So their next challenge is to handle a car going around and around our easiest course of the year. But while they are doing that drive, they'll have to do the things that normally distract them. Things like sending text messages and eating and drinking. And I guarantee you, they will all crash. I guarantee it because it's what happens every single year. The difference is, this year, when they're done the course, they'll have to tell Aaron here whether or not they intend to keep on driving distracted when they go home. I'm hoping we'll save lives. I bet we will, buddy. Nice. Shirley was nominated as Canada's worst driver by her daughter Janice because Shirley's distracted driving has led to some big hairy problems. I bent down to pick up a hairbrush on the floor of my car and before I knew it I was into a parked car. Shirley lives in Cape Breton but she wants to start driving to Janice's house in Halifax. You don't stop, you have to merge over. However, her distracted driving might kill her en route. Now stop at the light! I, oh. Yeah, well you're accelerating towards a red light. Back at the rehab center, the vehicle Shirley will be driving for our distracted demonstration is our Canadian Statesman, made in Toronto by the Nash Motor Car Company back in 1954. The distracted driving course is a simple track that drivers will cruise around and around. When Shirley gets comfortable, her familiar distractions begin. If I got coffee there... Yes, still on the bottom. Oh my God! Shirley loves to drink coffee while driving. But this isn't the way she'd normally do it. 
would you normally do this? I'd have a cup holder. When Shirley becomes a donut holder, she gets even worse. Just torture, you just killed someone. Watching every deadly move Canada's worst drivers make is our team of experts. Mary and Joseph. We've got driving instructor Peter Mellor, relationship therapist Shamala Kiru, high performance driving instructor Philippe Laterno, and as always, Cam Woolley is our traffic law expert. Here in North America, we have this drive through culture where there's restaurants serving food to drivers. In Europe, there's no such thing as a drive through restaurant. You're supposed to eat or drive, not both. Where's the cookies? Where's the sense in eating and driving? I can try and open my cookies. All this snacking is making Shirley thirsty. <laughs> what are you thinking? You weren't even reaching for anything. Give me the water, I won't. The demonstration is over. Oh wow, you cut that girl's legs off. And Shirley says she gets the point. When she said I killed a person down there first time round, Seriously, like, it's a lesson. That, that could be for real. It is for real. Just ask Aaron. Aaron, I think every time I go to have my coffee or that I go to have something, because I love you so dearly, I'll think of you. I'll think of you, and I promise you that I will not eat while I am driving, Aaron. I love you, darling. In Montreal, Afia was nominated as Canada's worst driver by Cindy, her friend. Afia needs to drive for her social life. Hello? But she does not need to text and drive. Gosh. I think I'm pretty good at texting and driving. I've done it, and I'm still doing it, and I don't care. Yeah, she does it all the time. Oh, what's he doing? It doesn't, it's not even working. Distracted Afia has caused so many accidents, it's just a fluke no one's been killed. Hey. Oh, gosh, she wants to die. Yeah. On our distracted driving course, Afia puts on makeup, and when she opens a drink, she's all over the road. Not too close. On top of that, Afia is refusing to perform the demonstration at a real driving speed. When I'm texting, I slow down. Well, we don't teach texting and driving in driving schools for a pretty good reason. You can't actually do it. Texting doesn't just make Afia slow down. It makes her look down. The good news is... Our demonstration has worked. This was the last time I was putting on lipstick. It was the last time I was picking up the phone driving. From now on, I won't ever do anything but look at the road and my two hands will be on my wheels. I promise you. Thank you. You just made my experience that much better. You're welcome. From Lethbridge, Alberta, Sly was pointed our way by Fred, his brother-in-law. Hello? Family man Sly has to drive to get to work, and to church, and to run the usual family errands. And... Howdy, how's it going? 
Sly does most of that driving distracted. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll still pick up the girls. <laughs> try driving with screaming kids. <laughs> Sly should try driving with no distractions. Nobody's died. On our distracted driving course. Holy cow. When Sly focuses on his all too familiar cheeseburger, he loses control. <laughs> what do you stop? The car. <laughs> oh. Holy cow. I was just freaking eating a burger. The car now won't start. And it may never start again. Is any burger worth this? No. So when are you supposed to eat? When we come back... More of Canada's worst drivers realize the error of their distracted ways. Canada's worst drivers are learning that driving distracted is too dangerous to ever attempt. Next, we go to Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, where Lori is Canada's worst driver, according to her fiancé, Sean. Hey, buddy, how was school? Lori needs to drive to get their kids around. But while driving, Lori likes to distract herself with text messages and cell phone calls. Hello. And food, and drink, and a cat, and a bird, and a dog. And another dog that she enjoys wearing like a scarf. Isn't this where you sideswipe that truck? <laughs> yes, it is. In rehab, Lori has learned how dangerous it is to drive with loose animals. I'm going to stop driving with my dog behind my head and the bird or the cat, even if it's for a couple blocks, it's just not worth it. On our distracted driving course... Don't find my lipstick. Lori finds her makeup and loses control of the vehicle. So, we call to let her know... Hello? ...that last year in Ontario, there were over 7,000 collisions caused by distracted drivers. I gotta go, I'm busy, I'm driving. <laughs> Oh, look out, there's a kid there. Holy. In those 7,000 collisions, 35 people died. I don't know. Hugs are nice, but Aaron wants promises. So, Laura, tell me what you, uh, what you just learned today, just now. I learned that it's ridiculous to do the things I was doing, texting, and and you know what, in meeting you, I, I'll never do it again. You might have just saved yours, his, somebody else's life. The next candidate lives in Surrey, B.C. Daydreamer Ben was brought to us by Jan his wife. Ben needs to drive Jan on their Friday night dates without drifting into danger. What was that we just went through? Uh, I don't know. The car is like the shower for me. I just zone. Zoned Ben doesn't keep both hands on the wheel or his wheels on the pavement. Ooh. I'm lucky I haven't killed anyone. On our distracted driving course... 33, 36, slow down! 
Ben admits to illegally texting and driving. But... I'll never text and drive. Again. When Ben sees Aaron, he kicks that promise up a notch. I'll never drive with any distraction ever again that I can possibly think of. Our final Worst Driver nominee is from Calgary. Nervous Tab was brought to us by Matt, her boyfriend. Tab is the most anxious driver we've ever met. But incredibly, Tab eats while she drives, Tab drinks while she drives, and that's not all. Smoking, texting, and driving a stick is difficult. But it can be done. Sure, it can be done, but not safely. I clip somebody walking across the street, but I saw them get up, so they were okay, so I kept driving. On our distracted driving course, Tab thinks she'll be unaffected, but... Oh, around. Ah! Ah! Are you serious? Tab learns how dangerous she is driving distracted. I can't open it. I can't. I don't want to drink anymore. Oh! Time for the cell phone lesson, uh. which impacts Tab deeply. Oh, crap. It's not a good plan to check your phone. It's not a good plan to do anything but drive. While you're driving. Check my phone. I lost my phone. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh my god, I quit! Oh. Everyone should quit. Driving distracted. Hi guys. I promise, I promise. I swear to God, I won't. I'll never text again or answer a phone or nothing. Hand-eye coordination and the ability to react quickly are both very important parts of safe driving. To find out just exactly what sort of reflexes Canada's worst drivers have, they're about to um, go through a series of highly scientific tests. Kinesiologist David Allison will administer the tests. To gauge reaction speed, 176 milliseconds. Several experiments will occur. First, at 281 milliseconds, everyone will grab a falling stick. Oh, not. Next, everyone tries to catch tennis balls dropped from shoulder height. This is a test that only Afia and tabs succeed at. There you go. The most telling test, though, is having to touch hurtling tennis balls with both hands simultaneously. Yes. Yeah. Don't kill me. For this test, oh. we have protective gear. Okay, they come here. You can throw a helmet and or a chest protector on, or you can just do it without. Uh... Ben should have opted to take the helmet. His reaction times are laughable. Oh. <laughs> and then there's Sly. Sly is worse. 
Oh. In fact, Sly's reaction time is bloody awful. The slowest in rehab. Oh, whoa. Having quick reaction times isn't all you need to be a good driver. Knowing how to reverse and reposition a vehicle is also critical. Last episode, we learned the nominees for Canada's worst driver are not good at reversing when using their side mirrors. Today, they're going to learn how to reposition a car in a tight space using an S-turn. Then, they'll reverse alongside one another around this spiraling course. They'll go all the way to the center, then switch lanes, and go all the way back again. Before Tab and Ben go head to head, the car wants to go here. I'll show them how to shift a car from here to here. What I'm going to do is what we call here at the rehab center an S-turn. I want to slide the car to my left, so I start by turning left. And I'm going to take half of the space available, about that. And then I'm going to turn it all the way to the right, and I'm going to take the other half of the space available. And then I'm going to straighten the wheels right up, and I'm automatically closer to this line. Okay. Okay? Once again, this is just making a car move laterally by going left, then right, then straight back. Okay. This seems to take forever. Better than a scratch. For this challenge, Ben is in the black car and Tab is in the white car, which she quickly gets pinned to the left side of the lane. Okay, I want to go to the right. So there's half my space. All the way to my left. And then straight line. Oh, oh! I see that now. This is a light bulb moment for Tab. Look at you go. You picked that right up pretty quick, didn't you? Ben is not so quick. I'm still getting stuck in this corner. Ben needs to do an S-turn by steering to his right. So come forward as much as you can. Then steering to his left. And take all the room you can. So now go straight back. That's forward. You're going to run me over. When Tab makes it to the course's middle, she has to wait on Ben. Because to return to the start, Whoops. the drivers must swap lanes. When Ben and Tab do swap lanes, He's beating me now. Tab gets so frustrated, she starts emitting road rage. Oh, sir, put on my side. I'm not listening. Hope you run out of gas. It's too late for that. Ben's done. Have fun. <sighs> you did great. Learning how to maneuver a car brings Ben tears of joy. <laughs> it's been a problem our whole marriage. And now we're actually having a little bit of... Good times. Good times. <laughs> Good times awesome. in the car. It's wicked. Tab is almost in tears herself. Why? But they're not tears of joy. Oh, this isn't fair. Tab did learn the S-turn. But then she forgot it. I feel like a failure. Afia and Lori. Learn the S-turn next. As much room as I can to the left. 
as much as I can to the right. Almost immediately, Lori gets herself pinned on the driver's side. You've got this much room here. If she does an S-turn to her right, you're going to be a little bit closer to here. Sean has tried teaching Lori this technique, but Lori never understood it. Now look at all the room. And the car is magically facing the direction you want. Having a little light bulb moment again, aren't you? Yeah, well, yeah, so I've never heard of it, and I... She's and full of shit. She's heard of it before. No, I don't think I did. This is why husbands make lousy driving teachers. The teaching that Afia has been getting seems to finally be working. This is probably the first time that I've seen Afia look so focused. Headed back to the finish, though... Afia is casually scratching and clanging. Lori is so focused, she finishes without a scratch. Oh, stop. Lori learned the S-turn. I'm learning stuff I didn't know I needed to learn. When I met Afia, she told me that she had scratched Stop. Don't hit that. I told you not to hit that. She had scratched about 20 things in her driving career. How many things have you really scratched, do you think? Probably 50, 60, I don't know. 50 or 60 things? The S-turn would have prevented some of those. Uh, I learned a lot these past few days, so... More to come. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. When we come back... Now where? Where? How do I do it? The rest of Canada's worst drivers learn the S-turn. Oh, I'm getting it. Your front wheels haven't even crossed the starting line yet. They haven't? No. Oh. Canada's worst drivers are learning how to do an S-turn by steering to the left, then the right. Straighten up my wheels come back, I've moved the car laterally. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Aaron will now face off against our expert, Peter. Almost immediately, Aaron can't remember how to do an S-turn. No, where, where? How do I do it? And Lee is bailing him out. Turn towards me. Peter is already in the turnaround area. So we'll wait. But for the next 20 minutes... Keep going, keep going, keep going. Lee gives Aaron constant instructions. Hey, the other way, the other way now. Looks to me like Lee's doing a lot of the decision-making here. At the halfway point, I get in with Aaron. Reverse this pony, my friend. And I teach him the S-turn one more time. So short to the left, short to the left. Now, as hard to the right as you can. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's the S-turn, buddy. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Because, look, we used to be over there in this exact same angle. Yeah. From then on, Aaron is able to think for himself. Look, now we're driving. Your old man is fired as your driving instructor. <laughs> I agree. Aaron just might make it. This is the first time that I feel I perhaps don't need my father in the car. Shirley and Sly will learn the S-turn next. Oh, yes, the S-turn. When the lesson is learned, Sly's confidence swells. Oh, I'm getting it. Your front wheels haven't even crossed the starting line yet. They haven't? No. Shirley's confidence, though, is taking a beating. I can't do it. She sure can't. Ah, oh, frig. Just give I up. just can't do it. Well, then give up if you don't want to do it. Oh. What Shirley is hitting. <laughs> Just like Sly. 
Okay. Freak. None of the other drivers Oops. were hitting very much at all. Oh, oh. Crap. But Sly is like a wrecking crew. Well, what's going on? And Shirley... <gasps> Shirley is just as bad. I don't have a clue. Not a clue. I don't have a clue, okay, I know. Hey, okay, stop saying it over and over again. I just can't do it. Shirley does try valiantly. So I just can't do it. But eventually, Shirley gives up. It doesn't look complicated when I'm standing out here. With Fred's helpful ditty. All the way to the right. All the way to the left. Sly does eventually oh, bang his way Whoa. to the center of the swirl. Oh, awesome. Sly knows he hasn't mastered the S-turn. I uh, hesitate to use the term master because when I start using the term master, then I start messing up. So I would say I'm an S-turn um, apprentice. Sitting in the driver's seat is a little bit more complicated than just getting in the car and landing wherever you land. Here to teach Canada's worst drivers exactly how to sit properly behind the wheel is our high-speed expert, Philippe Letourneau. Your shoulders should always remain in the seat. This seating lesson is all about where your shoulders should be during a shoulder check. Give me a shoulder check. There's some, there we go, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would go like this. You wanna make sure your shoulder stays in the seat. Uh, okay, so. Okay. And just turn your head, that's correct. Just my head, and not my body. Keep your shoulders in the seat. Good? Absolutely. We'll now see if Canada's worst drivers learned their seating lesson on a shoulder check challenge, which works thusly. Cars drive down this straightaway at 60 kilometers an hour. At this point, they need to respond to the stationary obstacle in front of them. To see which of these two lanes we're calling the safe lane, we've put markers back here. To look at them, drivers must shoulder check to both sides, then turn to the lane with the green square. And of course, the bad drivers will be doing this challenge in the pride of Canada, our freshly painted Dodge Challenger. Let's do it. I get the machine up to 60, and boy, this machine likes to get up to 60. I'm there already. Here I am, straight down the middle of the lane. Now I check that's red, I check that's green. I come around here, and I go into the lane safely. Now, will Canada's worst drivers be able to make it? Up first is Shirley. I'm good to go. So, Shirley goes. We're almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. The shoulder check. You did it! Stop! Shirley safely shoulder checked by keeping her shoulders against the seat. Had I not learned that skill today, I would have took the whole car with me. Aaron is up next. Instead of going 60, though, Aaron speeds up to 80, and then he lifts a hand off the wheel. When we come back, Aaron learns why he spun out. I'm... I'm... 
I'm... And then everyone else will give this shoulder check challenge a whirl. Oh, freak. Canada's worst drivers have learned that to do a proper shoulder check, they must keep both shoulders against their seat and both hands on the wheel. Aaron just let go of the wheel and completely lost control. Trying to regain control, Aaron oversteered and spun the car out. Shoulders back. To make sure he understands how to shoulder check safely, mm -hmm. I encourage Aaron Do it again. to practice. Before he reaches 60K an hour, Aaron practices one more time. Then he hits the targeted speed. Red, green. And Aaron passes the challenge. Hey, nice. Aaron succeeded without his father's help. I'm a strong enough person to do this on my own. And that feels unbelievable. Sly is next to shoulder check. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Am I ready? Sly must be ready because he's going, but he's going too fast. And when he shoulder checks, he loses control. Whoa, freak. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! Drivers get just two chances on this course, and on Sly's final run, he turns his head and... Holy cow! Sly... can't stay in his own lane. How in the world have I been able to be safe on the roads and not have any issues? That's the mystery of the day, all right. Well... Lori hits the gas! With the car still in neutral... It's just checking to see if you are paying attention. With the car in drive, Lori goes a little fast... Go drag racing. But she slows down... and looks good. Red, green! There. Perfect. That was perfect. Awesomenicity walks this way. That's right. Afia is up next. Here she goes. Afia does a clumsy shoulder check. Red, green. Oh my God. But she makes it through safely. Oh God. Yeah. Yes. Afia is learning. Rehab is helping me, I must admit. Nervous Tab has a habit of speeding. And today she's going 80 instead of 60. Oh, I didn't see no colors. And she turns into the lane marked red. Her excuse? I panic. Before she even calms down, Tab speeds off again. But she just guesses. Green, I think. Tab panicked again. If I don't panic, I won't speed, obviously. My foot is in conjunction with my panicking. Daydreamer Ben is the final driver. On his first attempt, Ben doesn't check his speed at all. He goes over 80 and... He hits the lane marker. This is the ongoing issue of focusing on where I want to go and trying to keep my speed. I can't do both. On his final run, Ben looks at the speedometer and still goes 80. This kind of daydreaming has to stop. 
this is the one thing, just one thing in our marriage that just doesn't work. When we come back, someone graduates after a chat with the experts and me. Do you deserve to graduate this episode? I believe I do. You do? Yes. Really? this episode everyone at our rehabilitation center drove distracted and learned an emotional lesson now the experts are waiting to chat with Canada's worst drivers so they can choose which one will graduate Aaron doesn't want to graduate yet he wants to keep making an impact on the other bad drivers like he did in our distracted driving challenge. Were you happy with that experience? That day made my circumstances, my situation in life, made it have more reasons. I feel I saved a lot of lives and used my life to make a point. That point seems to have been made on Afia. Talking to Aaron just, uh, that really touched me, so I don't want to cry, but I know I'm here for a good reason. And um, <clears throat> I'm just becoming a better person, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Tab was also changed by that experience. I pretty much demolished that, uh, that track, and in the end, Realistically, what was under my car could have been a person. Do you deserve to graduate this episode? I believe I do. You do? Yes. Really? Yes. Lori has the same opinion of herself. I believe I deserve to graduate 100% without a doubt. And Ben has the same opinion of himself. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to graduate. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Sly knows that he is not ready to graduate. Yeah, I would like to learn more. So would Shirley. I still think I need more information. There's only one person in my mind that we could give uh, their license back. I think it's really obvious there's only one. Uh, Shamla? Yeah, I've got one person in mind. Will Peter make it unanimous? I have one. Of course you do, because there is only one. This episode, there really was only one person who was even remotely close to graduating, and the experts completely and unanimously agreed that that person should graduate. So, without any further delay, I will give the driver's license back to... Laurie. Who? Laurie. Lori. Of course, Lori. Yeah, who else is there? Hey. Lori is getting her driver's license back for a carload of reasons. Absolutely deserve getting your license back. Before Lori arrived in rehab, she drove with a mess of loose animals in her car. And she drove that car very badly. In rehab, after learning some simple skills, Lori learned how dangerous driving with her animals is. I will not be traveling with a dog behind my head, and my big dog will have to be in a safe position in the back seat or something for everybody's safety. After learning how dangerous her other habits are, Lori truly is a transformed driver. I was pissed off when Sean nominated me, but I have to say, thank you, Sean. It was uh, more than, I learned a lot. Woo! No more birds flying around in the car, right? No more. Lori from Saskatchewan is this season's second graduate. And then there were six, one of these people really is Canada's worst driver. 
on the next episode of Canada's Worst Driver. The nominees go through our annual water tank challenge. They handle a large trailer. Wow, wow, that's dangerous. And they learn how to do a maneuver stunt drivers call the reverse flick. I give up! Walks this way. <laughs>